So I'm just going to show you how to make a really cool uh, simple text effect. Uh, it kind of looks like it's uh, radioactive or something like that. So let's just go up here, and by the way I'm using uh, Photoshop CS4. Uh, just go up and choose File New, and let's make it about 1000 wide by about 300 high. Make sure it's just 8 bit, and uh, let's just call it radioactive, like that. And looks good, hit OK. And the first thing we'll do is just make the background black, so edit fill and black and normal 100%. OK, and then let's go and create a new layer and use the text tool. And just uh, I'm just going to type in, I guess, the same thing. Uh, radioactive and okay that looks good maybe I'll uh, shrink it down a little so control T or command T on a Mac to uh, bring up the little transform box you can just hold in shift and scale it down a little little bit here and hit enter or return on a Mac I guess and there we go and now let's just right click on the radioactive text layer and choose rasterize type and that'll just make it so it's not text anymore, it's just a bunch of different shapes. We just turn off the background layer, you can see it there, just barely. So the first thing we'll do is go uh, Filter, and Distort, and Polar Coordinates. And now we'll choose Polar to Rectangular, and hit OK. And this will just kind of skew it up a, a lot. And now let's go and add a Wind Filter, so Filter, Stylize, Wind, and it doesn't matter which direction, just from, from right, Wind, OK. And then we'll go up to Image, Rotate Canvas 90 degrees. Doesn't matter which way, again, you just want to be consistent with uh, which way you rotate it. And Filter, Stylize Wind again, hit OK. The other thing you can also do, I'll show you in a second here, let's just rotate our canvas again in the same direction, is if you want to apply the last filter you just applied, holding Control or Command on a Mac and hit F, and that'll just apply the wind filter for us. And go and rotate our canvas again and apply it one more time, control F and just rotate our canvas one more time so we're back to where we started now the cool thing is, is we'll go filter distort polar coordinates we're gonna choose, last time we chose, polar to rectangular, if we choose rectangular to polar it'll actually reverse what, what we just did, if I zoom back here you can actually see right there, it'll kind of put it back to how it was, but as it does that it's kind of re-distorting it so it's back to the way it was before, so all of our wind effects, you'll see if I hit OK, will all get uh, kind of rounded and it'll almost look 3D, three-dimensional. So uh, anyways, that's pretty cool. Now what we want to do is just make sure both your layers are visible and Control or Command on a Mac and hit E and that'll just merge all the visible layers together. And I'll go up to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance and just play around with the colors here till, till you're happy with what it looks like. So that looks pretty good, just make it a nice bright green color. So uh, that's it. Uh, you can see it, it looks uh, it's a pretty cool effect. If you actually go to my uh, channel, you'll see I use this effect for uh, for my, uh, yeah, on the, on the, I think it's the right hand side of the channel. There's, uh, I use this effect for text going down the side. So anyways, uh, it's pretty cool. And what I've actually done here is made an action called radioactive. And it has everything, rasterized current layer, polar coordinates, wind, rotator, whatever. And uh, it, I've even added a, so it automatically adds a color balance. So anyways, all I have to do is type in my text and click uh, play, and it'll basically do it for me. So hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's just a really cool, simple text effect. It only takes about two minutes to do. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, yeah, that's it.